Hello, hi everybody, and welcome back to another horror movie video where we're going to be reacting to, giving commentary on, and giving a full breakdown of the 2020 trailer for The Call, not to be confused with the Halle Berry thriller film of the same name. It's already done. What? The Call is a horror film directed by Timothy Woodward and is starring Tobin Bell and horror dame Lynn Shay. Can this woman do any wrong? Absolutely not. Lynn Shea is essentially a diamond of the horror genre at this point. She has proven that she can hold her own no matter what her character status is, if she's on the front lines or if she's just kind of there to help the story along. She was pretty much one of the only redeeming factors about the grudge this year. She literally carried the whole film and she was only in part of the thing. Also, we have Tobin Bell. Hello, Jigsaw. As for the call, um, I know naff all about it. Saw the trailer, it was only released three days ago, so let's give it a watch. I love whenever she's in a movie, they throw her face right into the thumbnail because they know people are gonna click on it. Here we go, one, two, three. Christ. Does everybody have a cookie? I loved Edith more than life. Oh! Edward, you are my fresh air. This, this could be a really cool dynamic. I was here to protect her. So what are your friends, Carnies? Funny. I was wondering when you get here. I dragged the new kid to have some fun with us. Okay, let me guess one of them's gonna die. It's an old tradition. Haunted house. <laughs> Stupid. Move your arm. Oh. Oof. Going somewhere? Oh, I'm sorry, old hag. Yes. If you're lucky my husband is not here, he would shoot you. Now get out! I would do what she says. Oof. Whoa, 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 what? Prank gone too far. Hello, Christopher. I'm giving you Oh, a very jigsaw. Okay, John Kramer. I'm sorry to hear about your wife. She included you all in her will. I don't want anything of hers. Not even a hundred thousand dollars? A hundred thousand dollars? So is that the prank? There's a phone upstairs with the number next to it. You call it, you stay on the phone for one minute. And then you die. Then the money will be yours in the morning. Who are we Let calling? me guess, all the horrible shits can happen in a minute. She had me bury a phone with her. Going somewhere? What? She wants to talk to you. Where are I like that. Okay, that bit looks a little bit cheesy, but... It was like I was transported. <laughs> We're all gonna suffer! Ooh. Get on the phone. That was a nice show. Devastating to her. What do you want? Vengeance. Whoa, okay. I love CGI. Jesus, the music got me away by right there at the end. <laughs> okay, at first glance, what do we have? We've got a trailer that's just shy of two and a half minutes long. Um, honestly, I say this all the time, I genuinely think like a minute and a half stretching it to a minute 45 is more than adequate for a movie trailer, but we are seeing a lot of places and a lot of studios coming out with longer trailers. So it stands to reason that other studios are gonna start doing the same thing to step up to compete because it's almost like you need to show people more, especially at this time when people may not feel comfortable going to see films and going to cinemas and such. Showing them all you can to reel them in, I can kind of see why it's a good marketing technique and I hope it works for them because it looks like this could be a decent watch. In terms of the premise, we get quite a clear outline but we've still left with a lot of things that are unanswered like we don't know it said a prank gone wrong or a prank gone too far something along those lines in the text we then saw like the rope pulling i'm guessing this means that lynn's character takes her own life or at the very least the other characters are led to believe that that is the case whether she's pulling some witchy voodoo and she is actually coming back from the grave or whether she was never in the grave in the first place remains to be seen but i think that kind of feeds into all the stuff that we don't know and kind of leaves a little bit of intrigue with the story. In terms of the cut, I quite liked it. I felt like the editing 
um, was really stylistic in points and that definitely has its place within a horror movie context and I think that when you're going for a story that could potentially have some supernatural elements behind it you can get away with the stylized look because you're not going for naturalism you're really not trying to people trying to people what <laughs> you're not trying to convince people that they're living in an entirely um, sensical world do you know what I mean you're given an element of fantasy like things that just aren't necessarily true cast wise Tobin Bell and Lin Shea have both individually been able to solidify their place in horror. I'm not actually sure if they've ever been in a movie together. If they haven't up until this point, that is a crime and I'm glad that it's been rectified. Individually, they've been able to create some of the most memorable characters in the horror films that they've been in. And as I said about Lin Shea, it doesn't matter whether they're in the forefront or the background. They're both very present and they have very distinctive voices and especially with a lot of Lin's character stuff is going to be coming through a phone call, I hope we're going to get to see her put that like vocal quality to good use. We see it all the time in horror, so many good performances have come from vocal quality and it's come from movement as well because often in horror like things like prosthetics are used or masks are used or lighting is used to the point where facial expressions aren't always completely distinctive, not all the time but I'm just talking about in some cases. They have no choice other than to make their movement really distinctive a la Michael Myers or making their voices really transcendent like Tony Todd, Tobin in this case. The only downside I can see from that is people not being able to separate him from John Kramer or Jigsaw. The way that we did hear a phone call that instantly made me think, hmm, heard that before from you. Hello Christopher. I'm giving you a choice. It felt like he was talking in the tapes that Jigsaw leaves and you don't want the audience to be focusing on that, do you know what I mean? They need to be able to dissociate, but I think he's got he's got the calibre and he's got the talent to really push the boundaries and do that, so hopefully the audiences are gonna have the same, like, give. We did see a little bit of CGI coming through. Not always a bad thing in horror films, we've seen really successful horror films where CGI has come through to a point. For example, um, A Quiet Place. What I don't want to see happen is it relying on CGI? I really don't think, it doesn't look like it's going to, but you see horror films like the It reboot. I feel like it relied really heavily on CGI when it really didn't need to. There were loads of other things that you can apply um, technically, especially within the horror genre that can build ambience and build genuine fear within an audience that goes beyond what a computer can do. When you've got actors with that kind of talent, you really don't want to be uh, t taking focus away from them. If anything, you would want to really push them at the audience because they're going to be able to carry it. A computer can't. But those are just some of my quick thoughts after seeing the trailer. I often find that um, with these videos I think of other things later down the line so if I do while I'm editing I will add them in here. But if you don't see anything it means that nothing else has come to my nap or as of yet. But I would be really interested to see this film and it didn't actually, did it tell us a release date? Actually, one thing I want to add, something that I think is, is going to be frustrating watching the film a little bit is the blatant stupidity that gets people in this situation in the first place. But a lot of horror films are like full of that, do you know what I mean? You're running away from the killer, where do they run? Upstairs of course! Smart choices are lacking in the horror universe people. All it takes is for them not to go to that freaking house, not to throw stuff and break windows, not to piss off Lynn Shay, and voila, you live. Really not that freaking hard. I don't know, not my problem. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. As always, I really appreciate you taking the time. If you enjoyed it, if you're looking forward to this film, if you love horror films in general, give it a big one of these. Leave a comment below letting me know what you think of the trailer. What do you think that we can see from the movie? What do you think of this cast? Because this, I've not, for a film that I've not heard anything about, this... Anyway, if you would like to see more horror content from me, I will throw that playlist right over there. Something else will be linked in there, video playlist, whatever. Enjoy! Links to the social media is down in the description if you want to follow me other places, uh, just stay up to date with stuff. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Uh, but other than that, much love you guys, stay healthy, stay safe, and I will see you very soon. Bye!